Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. Call today, schedule to get on our calendar. We'll set up an appointment, come out, do an estimate, complimentary. Give me a call at 386-453-4213. Today, we're at a home on a golf course, and uh, it's a really nice little community. And um, even though the house needs to be washed, uh, these are actually uh, renters who live here who just want their driveway, sidewalks, and curbing uh, to be appealing and to have that curb appeal and to get rid of the mildew that's set up on the concrete. Uh, they are gonna run it by the homeowner to see if the homeowner would like to have the house washed because it certainly needs it. But this morning, I'm gonna show you um, the sidewalks, driveway, and curbing. And I'm also gonna show you a painted surface that you do not wanna run your surface cleaner across if you are a fellow pressure cleaner. Guys have been asking me how to mix their SH and their surfactant uh, in the X-Jet chemical pail. Uh, there are a couple of different factors, guys. Number one, what percentage SH are you using? Number two, how hot of a mix do you wanna make? Uh, what types of surfaces are you cleaning? So all of those things play a role in how you're going to mix your surfactant. This morning, we're gonna do a relatively hot mix. So we're gonna be doing about 50% SH and about 50% water, and then five to eight ounces of our surfactant. If you're using soap like Dawn Blue Liquid, use about a quarter of a cup. I don't suggest using it because of the ammonites that are inside of the Dawn, it is not stable for a chlorine product, um, and it does uh, give off a harmful gas. So be very careful. Use your chemical respirator if you're doing that. Um, so this morning, let's take a look at the painted surface first. As you can see, there's some significant chipping already that exists in this area here. So if you were to run your surface cleaner up, you would further damage that. So we will fan tip this once the uh, solution has been applied and done its job, it will clean up very nicely. Um, I'll probably just hit a little water around here to make it look pretty because there's some spider webs. We're gonna go ahead and turn around and I'm gonna show you what that mildew looks like that's set up on here. So as you can see in the seams, and um, we have a great deal of mildew. So this is gonna come really nice. And if we take a look, especially along the side here, you can see all of this through here. So look forward to the after video. I will shoot a video to show uh, the explosive results that I produce. Um, and you can see the balance of the driveway here goes on out to the road here. So uh, we did have to park strategically because each space does not provide enough room for the truck and trailer. If you were, you would be hanging over on each edge, as you can see. So the parking had to be done here. So as you can see here, we have the mold and mildew in through here, and through here, and in through here. Everyone have a great day. My name's Trevor Thompson. Give me a call, 386-453-4213. Keep cleaning, everyone.